guys, Valiant Blaze here, Soul Purpose Gaming again, and let me go ahead, oh, I got a package, let's see what this is, hold on, it's like, this is a little different, oh, Soros PDX, heck yeah, hold on, let me check out the Soros PDX real quick, this gun's an absolute monster, okay, let me see, uh, high caliber rounds, that's cool, oh, heck yeah, I like how look, okay, alright, um, precision shots, got a click reload, don't really like that too much, uh, and a hand laid stock, okay, yeah, uh, I might actually test this out in the Crucible today, guys, all right, um, let me get back to what you guys actually wanted to see. All right, uh, all right. So we have the Zonera D over here, and uh, let's see, we got um, let's get the first one. This is a auto rifle. Now there was a buff to the auto rifle, so this could be pretty good if we can get a lot of stability on it. All right, uh, kills this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time. Crowd control is cool. All right, um, we got. When zoomed in, this weapon fires slow, but causes it some damage. This could be pretty cool, just because this thing uh, already has a ridiculously high fire rate, so it might actually work out better this way. Uh, high ca higher caliber rounds. Uh, you can make people, especially with the um, with the auto rifle. I feel like you need that the auto rifle is because it doesn't really make uh, a person's screen jump enough when you're fighting them, and this could really cause some serious confusion, especially if you're up against something uh, a longer range weapon. Uh, we got speed reload, and we got small bore. Uh, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. I wish we would have got a hand laid stock instead, but not too bad. Let me see what else we got. Alright, we got hot swap. Writing this weapon grants brief period of bonus accuracy. Crap. Alright, spray and play. Increase the reload wep uh, speed of this weapon when the magazine is empty. This is okay. Uh, higher caliber rounds. You know, I like that. Uh, hand loaded. Garbage. And a uh, small bore again. Um, I like the first one better than the second, for sure. Uh, last resort sucks. I'm not a very big fan of it. Uh, persistence. Uh, this weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired. Yeah, it's all right, I guess. Yeah, more of a PVE thing. Uh, single point sling. Switch weapons faster. Move quicker while aiming. This is pretty cool. Um, reload and rifle barrel. Yeah, this thing has no stability whatsoever. So. Not gonna happen. Definitely going for the first one. All right, let's see what else we got. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna say the Rua D. Okay. All right. Um, let's go ahead and jump in that. All right, we got surplus. Expect to find more ammo for this weapon. Um, feeding frenzy kills this weapon. Increase the reload speed for a short time. And uh, perfect about This is more of a PVE. Both these things are more PVE. We got perfect balance right here, quick draw, and we got injection mold. Um, yeah, you definitely go over stability. Yeah, you go for perfect balance over injection mold. It gives you about the same thing, except you get to keep your range. So there's no reason whatsoever to have injection mold in this one. Um, as far as the stats go in this, uh, stats aren't that great. Let me compare this to one of. Let me compare this to uh, my personal favorite sniper rifle in the game, or one of my favorites, anyways. A little faster fire rate, a little bit less impact, a lot less stability, uh, a little bit more range. Um, yeah, it definitely doesn't beat out the thousand yards there unless you want a little bit faster fire rate. I take the impact though, just because you can one shot guys in the uh, when they when you get rest when they get rest you can run on them. So that's kind of what I go for. All right, but let me go ahead and go through this thing right here and uh, check out this last one. All right, unflinching. Uh, this is very useful on a sniper rifle, because um, a lot of times you get beat out by uh, scout rifles because of this. Uh, feeding Frenzy, um, kills this weapon, increase the reload speed for a short time. Not bad, I guess. Perfect balance again, snapshot, and uh, pedant magazines. Um, increased magazine size. Uh, again, this sniper rifle, the base stats of it aren't that great, but if I was going to grab one, I'd probably grab this one right here, the third one, if you want to try it out. Now this is a sniper rifle right here. All right, let's take this bad boy out. All right, a lot of times this thing will come with uh, um, a final round, and if you can get it with final round, this thing's an absolute monster. All right, we have Grenadier. Uh, kill this weapon, reduce the cooldown of the grenades. Uh, we got Lightweight. All right, was our uh, whatever. <laughs> we got Halate Stock. Yes, this is what we want. All right, we got Zed Moment, causing damage to this weapon, increase the stability, and Milligan. Um, this is really good. So you have to go Milligan, hand laid stock, and you know you gotta have Grenadier. 
All right. So this first one right here, not too bad whatsoever. All right, we've got a deer again. Single point sling. Um, rifle barrel. You don't really need either of these two in Crucible. Uh, unflinching. Unflinching is very useful. And Eye of the Storm is uh, okay. Uh, more accurate when health gets lower. You don't want that. All right, so you definitely go unflinching on this one. Um, but again, this only has one good perk on it. The other one had two. All right, we got Outlaw. Dramatically increased. Uh, okay, we got single point sling. Switch weapons faster and move quicker while aiming. You don't really need that. A reinforced barrel. Definitely don't need that. Uh, Zen moment. Uh, if you're going to be a body shot guy and just tap two in the body, this might be like the weapon for you. Um, you know, it's got the fire rate for it, so you definitely could fight like that if you wanted to with Zen moment. But I like Mulligan, bro. I think this is a beast perk. Um, you know, it gives you an extra chance. Alright, uh, but I'm definitely going to go for the first one, guys. First one's this freaking absolute monster right here. This thing is where it's at. Yes, sir. Alright, guys. Um, I didn't pick up... Uh, what was it? I think it was Shiro's PDX or something last week. I didn't pick it up because I've done so many videos on it. You guys kind of should probably already know by now um, what, the, what kind of perks you want on that. Uh, let me see what we got here. With the Haka Armnesty Auto Rifle. Now, I'm going to take a look at this one. Just because Auto Rifle has kind of came up in the world now. So I'm going to pick that one up. Just to make a video on it. Um, the Herfren Hand Cannon. Uh, let me see. Now, this Pulse Rifle. I, you know, it's a right Pulse Rifle. But because the Hawksaw and the uh, PDX exists. It's kind of been, uh, you know, it's not really worth it anymore. Picking it up. Um, oh, we have the same sniper rifle here. This is the absolute monster and the arena. Okay, both these are really good. Ooh. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna pass on the hand cannon. I'm gonna pass on the pulse rifle, and I'm gonna go for these two sniper rifles so I can uh, make the comparison video of the two. Cause both of these are pretty freaking good. Yeah, definitely. Ah uh, oh, man, <laughs> I want to see if I can get another one of these. All right. Um. Uh, geez, I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Use zoom. You know, I just got the use zoom, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one. I'm gonna get the hand cannons because hand cannons they get a little bit of a buff too. All right, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, go ahead and smack the like button and subscribe for more gaming news and Destiny stuff. All right, Valley Blaze. Out.